everybody. Let me just turn my light down a bit, it's a bit bright that. So today, I popped a poster up yesterday, I am unboxing No Make No Life. see it's got wrote all the way around the side no make no life on the box can you see i just wait for a couple of you to join because i've just told the girls that i'm gonna go live i've got this like really bright light now i can put my phone in it, actually i got it to take pictures but you can turn it down right up you see <laughs> so one of those big ring lights just adjust it so I don't look like I'm glowing. I'm not in the right way glowing. <laughs> Who have we got online? I can see people, but I can't see comments. Oh, come on. I'm dying to unbox this. Just so you know, if anyone is just joining in, No Make, No Life are a Japanese beauty box. Someone comment so I can see who it is. I won't make myself a cat today, I promise. <laughs> Maybe I'll be a cat later for bingo. Who's excited about bingo? I'm always excited about bingo. I can't see comments. Okay, I'll just go with it. Maybe it might be my phone that's not showing up comments, which sometimes is the case. So, that's just the custom slip on the back. It comes from Japan. It is a Japanese beauty box. Oh, it's got the contents on the back. I didn't realise that. Oh, yay. Someone's commented. It's okay, I've got comments up now. Right, I'll go ahead and open it. Okay, so no make, no life. Or oh, NM... NL, yeah, <laughs> I had to think about that though. <laughs> so, you open it up inside, it says at No Make No Life. Now, No Make No Life actually do own as well. You'll have heard of Tokyo Treat quite a lot of you. We have, because we had it before. Hi Rachel, hi Jane, hi JC. Um, we've had Tokyo Treat before, which is all the Japanese candy. We've had it a couple of times. We had it um, last year, they did a special edition box for... Halloween and we had it then. I had lots of Halloween treats and it was quite cool. Um, at the time, actually, was a little bit too young to go trick or treating, so we got it for that and we thought it'd be a really good idea. Um, so they could try all these Japanese candy treats, so it's cool. I think Sam's had that Tokyo treat before as well. They also do Yumi Twins, um, which I think has got like pusheens in it and things like that, um, for like little girls. But this one is aimed at teens through to adults. It's five to seven beauty products a month. And the cost is, it's in US dollars, it's $29.99 US dollars, free shipping. It makes it just over £22, £22.60, £70, something like that. It depends on the exchange rate, but around that, between £22 and £23, depending on, on that day's exchange rate when you put the order in. So, I'm just going to go ahead. Now, bear in mind, all of the products are Japanese. Now, this doesn't mean they're not going to be good. I'm going to try them. Everybody that knows that's tried Korean stuff before will know Korean beauty boxes are ace. And I'm not just saying that. If you haven't tried Korean stuff, get out there and buy yourself a Korean beauty mask and tell me it's not 10 times better than the one you bought from Estee Lauder that was 20 times the price. They are really good. So I'm dying to try this because I want to see what the Japanese equivalent's like when you compare that Korean stuff's really good. I'm expecting... You know, this could be, it could find a few good finds here. So, the first item, now I am gonna, I am gonna have to look at the booklet for this because although there are pictures on there and you can see that's got iPads on there, that may not necessarily be the case and I can't read Japanese. So, I can't just go it blind on this one. So, the first item is Tonyu. I'm not going to pronounce that. That is a really long word. I'll put the pictures on the website. They are point masks. 
Um, so it says, treat extra dry and sensitive areas of your face with these mini-sized masks. The masks from popular drugstore brand Tonyu, I think it's Isofuraban. Use soy to restore elasticity in your skin. And ingredients such as collagen and hyaluronic acid, we all know that's good, to provide extra nourishment. So basically, you cleanse your face and toner and you pop these masks on. You can pop them under the eyes or any area of the face. So it shows you on the pictures on there. Uh, oh, and there. You can pop them like if you've got dry bits. I've got dry bits here. Can you see where I get like a little bit of red area? That's my dry points there and there. And obviously we'll try using them under the eye. So I'll try these for the review because it's definitely something I would use anyway because I use eye masks. So that'll be one I'll be writing about. So next we have got, I'll go with the book in which, which order they're in because obviously they are pictured in here. Next item is, <laughs> do you know what this looks like? Has anyone tried that spray that you put in your frying pan? Hiya Katie, that you, you put to make like eggs or something and it's healthier because it actually says on the front honey and sunflower oil but it looks like a, a tin of that. A bottle. <laughs> but it isn't, it is cleansing lotion. A double duty product that's rich in honey and sunflower oil that your skin will love. The gentle lotion works to remove dead skin cells while moisturising your skin. That again is another product I'll use because I use a cleanser every single day. Fry light, yeah. It do that's what I was thinking of. That's exactly what I was thinking of. I couldn't think of the word of it, but we use it. You get it in a couple of things. You can get the olive oil version and things like that as well. It's great for frying eggs if you don't want them to be really fatty. Um, so I'm going to try that as well. Um, I don't know exactly what's in this box, but I just know when I pick things out, things that I will definitely sort of use and try. And that's something I can try straight away. I'll use it tonight when I do my cleanse, tone, moisturise. So, pop that down. What size is it? Does it say on there? Hmm, doo -doo 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 -doo. I wonder if it does. No, it's all in Japanese. I would say it's about 250 mil. It's quite a biggish bottle. That's just a guess. Just going with like the other size stuff that I use. So the next one is... <laughs> this is <laughs> this, as soon as I opened the box I didn't know whether this was like I don't know whether it's a sweet um, <laughs> um I honestly was a bit like it looks like one of those candy sweets and you would pick that thing off there you know like those candy necklaces you get and that's what it looks like on the roll but this is a rather bizarre um rosy roller oil blotting roller <laughs> I've never ever used a blotting roller before, but I do get oily bits. I get oily bits here. I've got combination skin. So my dry bits are here, here, and in the middle. And my oily bits are my T-zone just here. So I'll give that a bash, see what it's like. See whether it does any good. But I presume it's probably better if you're going to put makeup on. Um, what does it say? Let me have a look. Wipe the shine off your face with this easy-to-use blotting roller made with volcanic stone so it's not edible. <laughs> the convenient tool effectively removes unwanted grease and dead skin from your face wipe with tissue to remove makeup from roller or cleanse with warm water when necessary roller comes with a cap to keep clean as I say it's just something I've never tried I'm going to try that just out of curiosity and roll it over my face you know you can but try these things you never know you never know until you, you try it but it's definitely bizarre <laughs> okay next item I've just got a little bit of a shine off that let me just turn that. There you go, that's a bit better. Getting the back shine off my light. Um, this is, Mel doesn't know until she reads it. It says, fill in sparse lower lash lines with this two-in-one mascara liner to give your eyes the extra sultry look. The mascara liner gives you full but feathery lower lash look, minus the hassles associated with fake lashes. Really? Well, I've never seen anything like that before. Can you see it on the pictures? Yeah, you can kind of go close up for that because my light's right on it. But apparently you put them there, in little dashes, to get that kind of like look. I'm going to have a go of it. How funny would that be? Should I do a live video? May try to put a mascara liner on because I'm just absolutely useless with eyeliner anyway, so it might be quite interesting. <laughs> I don't really use eyeliners. I use... Um, is it like a spongy tip? It might, might not be too bad then. Have you tried it, Amy? Have tried yours? I know Amy gets no mate, no life, and she told me she wasn't going to tell me what was in it. Um, <clears throat> but I'll have a go at it because 
I just think it's something I wouldn't do before. And sometimes when you're writing, the good thing is to write about something that you wouldn't ordinarily do. I can write about eye mask and cleansers all day long because it's, it's something I use all of the time. <clears throat> can you do another live trying these products? I think I should do one trying this. What does the people think? I think it'd be dead funny if I stabbed myself in the eye in the middle of the video. <laughs> uh, okay, the next item is... I'm trying to... There you go, you can hear it now. It is ginger bath salt. Now it says, after a long week, treat your mind and body to an extra TLC in the bath with this relaxing bath salt. Well, I've had a long week, ladies. Uh, <laughs> um, it contains ginger and chilli extract, both of which have extra warming properties. The yuzu ginger scented salt Ooh, it contains... That's a tongue dyer. Yuzu extract in the same line, the same word, um, which has tightening properties. Okay then, which of the three did I get? Well, there's three in the box. The one I've got, we don't know because it's in Japanese. <laughs> I think it's so funny how it's got music on the back of there. I mean, what's that about? <laughs> I thought they were that kind of stuff you put in your mouth and you go, and it like fizzes on your tongue. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> It's not though, it's to go in the bath. Now, I don't usually have a bath. So I don't know whether this will be one of the products that I try. I can say I'm going to I'm gonna try that roller just because it's funny. Um, I'm going to try the cleanse. I'm going to try the iPads. I always go with at least half the box if I'm going to write a review on it because I want to give an idea. I, yeah, popping candy, that's what it is. It's popping candy. I better not taste it because I bet it tastes awful. <laughs> but I don't usually use baths. So it may be something that I'd like to give to someone or put in a box in future um, as like a free thing if i get round to having one i will but it's just time with me i think all you ladies know if you've got two children it's so much quicker to dive in the shower then run the bath for half an hour and then get in the bath for half an hour and there's an hour when it took you 10 minutes in the shower so yeah <laughs> that's the only reason i don't it's just time obviously if i've got any extra time i'll be spending it on things to do with the group so the last product which is the sixth in the box is now Oh, let me turn it around so there's no shine again. I absolutely love that. And I'm sorry, but so many people are going to hate that. In fact, look at my hair. That's a, a vintage cosmetics one. And I often wear, I've got little flower clips, little bow clips. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm not a really girly person. Honestly, I'm not. Um, like... But I'd, I've got a bow obsession, the girls will tell you. Um, I think I've put it on the group before, um, the picture of my shoe cupboard, my shoe cabinet, and I've got matching bags to go with them. And every single bag I own, I have to have a bow on it. Everything I've got has got a bow on it. It's just one of those things, you know, when you just like something. And this is, um, is it a hairband one? Let me just tell you. Never be bothered by long bands or stray hair anymore with this cute big ribbon by me, Mappy, my peep. The big ribbon is the perfect accessory to complete your outfit to keep your hair at bay while washing your face or applying your makeup. I just think it's dead cute. And I am totally, totally gonna wear, well, here you go. This one is like a clip one. I'll take it out so you can see. But because I've got pink on today, I'll just put it in. But I've just, I just absolutely love. I won't be able to get that back in now, right now. But yeah, I just love it. Te Baker bags as well, yeah. I've got the Ventil one and that's got a big bow on it as well. <laughs> but yeah I love bows so that's great for me I know it's not going to suit everyone's taste and that is going to happen let me see if I can get this out and have a little quick look oh it's like a little how do you put it in then oh I would have it down the back like that me and do you know what it is girls it's not a hairband God, that a dust sticking. Oh, my word, I can't get it out now. <laughs> it actually works and it does what it says because I've just put that in my hair and I could not get it out. It is a piece of Velcro and you go like that. That doesn't move at all. I don't know if you can see, I lift my whole hair up there at the back. That doesn't budge at all. And that's quite a clever idea, you know. Do you know that's something I would never have thought of before? But do you know this clip here? 
I often get them with a little slide in. Like, look at that and watch what happens with it. And because I've got fine, soft hair, when I put that in, it just comes out like that all the time and I'm forever clipping it and trying to get more hair in it for it to stay in. But that doesn't move. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's a really cool idea. I'm sorry, I know it's Japanese and it's a bit like, you know, but I actually like that. And do you know I'm going to struggle getting that out now? There you go, I've got it out. I think it's cute. I'd have more of them. I'm sad that it's not purple because purple's my favourite colour. Maybe they maybe none make no life will watch this and send me a purple one for telling everybody to buy the box. I'm joking. <laughs> I love, love purple. So let's pop that back in. I'm going to take some pictures in a minute. Uh, what do I think of the box? For £22? I don't think it's too bad, really. I don't think it's that bad at all. I really like the way when you get Korean boxes and Japanese boxes, you get to try, like, cute things. And there's something in me that it's like a child and I'm an adult. But when you get to try those, like, things and they've got cute little pictures on it and stuff like that, you miss things like that, I think. You know, like, the Korean stuff, you can get pots of little kit kitty with things and stuff like that. I love it. I think it's brilliant. I think it's just, like, bringing that inner child out in you again. So I would actually buy this again. I think I might... I'll see whether they give it me to review again, but I'd actually buy it. I think I'm tempted to buy next month just to see what it's like. I'm going to have a look at some of the previous ones as well and see what's been in them out of curiosity because I've never had this box before. I do know about it. It is a well-known one, um, but I've just I've never bought it. I think there's always that, oh, what are you going to get because it's Japanese? Do you know what I mean? It's Yeah, it's that's it, Amy. It's random, isn't it? It's just like you would never go in the shop and buy that, but what's the... You know, you might find something that's dead bizarre, but actually good. And that's how I started out with Korean stuff. It was, I was finding stuff and I found the mask and I thought, oh my God, they're brilliant. And I got a Korean beauty box and it was a bomby box that I used everything in it, like everything. And I thought, you know what? I'm missing a trick here. I'm buying everything that's dead expensive, going and buying Clinique and stuff like that. And some of these Korean brands are just better. I think it's just the cost, the fact that they can produce it so cheaply. Um, yeah, the Tony Morley masks, they are so cheap. You can get them for less than a pound. Um, but you'd go in Estee Lauder and buy a face mask from them. And what was it they were in Debenhams? 25 quid? 25. No chance. You could get 30 of those masks for that. So you have one a night, every night for a month, or pay that for one. And to me, that's just like, well, I'm sorry, but I've got two kids. So I'm obviously going to look at the cheaper alternatives that I do. I use the Ordinary skincare now as well for that reason, because it's cheaper than I was paying for Pixie at £18 a bottle, £20 a bottle of moisturiser. Now I buy the Pixie, which is like £6, £7. And the savings on that means I feel less guilty and I can buy more things. And we're all happy. So yes, I would buy this again. I will do some pictures now. I'm just going to go in um, and take them. Um, I've got a new light and new backdrop, so my photos will look different now on the website. But this will be up within the week, and I'll do a full review with a link how you can buy it. Um, and I'll also talk a little bit about the other two boxes they do, because they're both for kids as well. Yes, Malika. Malika's commenting. Yeah, definitely, Georgie. They are mine as well. I've got loads of them. Really good masks. Definitely. The other ones are a Tude House. I don't know, Malika. Have you? Is it your mum? I'm not 100% sure. Also, just worth mentioning, if you haven't entered the brush competition for the full set of flawless brushes, they're worth £70 and it ends at 8 o'clock. So please, please do enter that. You've only got a couple of hours left to enter it. And the brushes, I've got some of flawless brushes and they are really, really good. And all you have to do is like and share and Post your screenshot to enter to win £70 worth of stuff. I think there's only about 70 odd entrants so far, is there? So, you know, you've got to be in it to win it. So get on to that. And we'll see you at 8.30 for bingo and to draw the competition. And I'll get this uploaded to YouTube now. Thanks for watching, ladies. I love you lots and I'll see you soon. Bye.